Medical Connoisseurs, I am Patrick Pistolesi, this is Drinkong, and here today we're going to show you how I make my perfect Manhattan. Uh, perfect Manhattan is one of my favorite drinks. Um, today we're going to use various ingredients. Um, it is, has been a drink a little bit forgotten, but always to me a great, great classic. To make this drink, it's a classic stir drink. You need a chilled mixing glass. Uh, we start from the core, from the body, okay, from the soul. What we're going to use is going to be Nikka coffee grain. It's called coffee, not because it's made of coffee, but it's called coffee, the alembic, named after his inventor, Anus Coffee. This is a column alembic, it's not a pot still, so it gives a smoothness to an already incredible smooth uh, Japanese style whiskey, as we know. Um, we're going to use 50 ml of this beautiful product. Then we, we pass to our Italian part. This is uh, our Antica Formula, Italian vermouth, uh, sweet vermouth as well known. Uh, I like this product in particular because Carpano itself invented vermouth, but uh, this one in particular has got a lot of vanilla and kino, and kina, which I like very, very much. So I'm going to put 15 ml of it. The grapes, I uh, have grapes of Nebbiolo, so they're very, very round from the northeast of Italy. Um, sorry, north, northwest of Italy, so next to Torino. And uh, now we're going to use some Nolipra, some dry vermouth, which are very high. This is going to donate a lot of elegance to the, to the drink and balance out what came out from the Italian vermouth, the sweet vermouth. So, another 15 ml. Now, here's my little trick. My little trick is a cup of Amer Picon. Amer Picon is a typical Belgian uh, Amaro, Amaro style. So it's got a lot of herbs, it's very, very round, gives a lot of deepness to the drink, okay? And for last but not least, the salt and pepper of the bartenders is the two dash of Angostura and two dashes of Maraschino. I use Angostura to boost the bitters and Maraschino to keep the ingredients together. It's not for the sweetness, it's just like the composition that just keeps all the ingredients in a beautiful, um, how would, you, how would we call that? In a beautiful symphony, okay? Now we start stirring our drink. Add the ice. This is the most important part. We blend our ingredients together. This technique is called stirring. We use this technique to blend, dilute, chill, but not adding any air to the drink, okay? Well, it's always important to taste your drink while you go because you don't want to taste the water, you want, you want it just right. You need a chilled cocktail glass. Last touch. A little bit of lemon zest just to refresh it. And here's my perfect Manhattan.